Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss about the di and polybasic acids. As you are already familiar with the word acids, which can donate proton. So, depending upon the number of proton it donate, it can be named as mono, di, tri, or the polybasic acids. Let us define polybasic acids. The polybasic acids, which is also known as polyprotic acids are able to donate more than one proton per acid molecule as in the case of monoprotic acid it can donate only one proton per molecule so what this definition means that depending upon the number of proton it donated like for example if we take an example of hydrochloric acid it have a only single proton for donation that means it gives only one proton per molecule of HCl that means it is named as mono basic acid because it can donate only one H positive but when we take an another example like sulfuric acid the formula for sulfuric acid is H2SO4 it can donate how much proton because two protons are available it can donate two proton therefore it is called as dibasic acid if you take an example of a phosphoric acid the formula for phosphoric acid is H3PO4 phosphoric acid can donate 3 H positive because there are 3 H here 3 H positive it can donate that means it having 3 uh, proton which can ionize into 3 proton that means it have a 3 ionizable proton per molecule therefore it is called as tribasic acid. So the polybasic acid is defined as the acids which can donate more than one proton per acid molecule that means it can also be called as polybasic acid. So if we take an example in this we can say the sulfuric acid it can be written in this way that is the OH twice O2S OH twice can be written that means that these two hydrogens are there in which it can donate 2 H positive. Phosphoric acid it have a 3 H positive for donation. Carbonic acid also have 2 uh, H plus for the donation. Oxalic acid have 2 H plus for the donation. So these are the some examples of a polybasic acid. In simple words, we can define the polybasic acid as the acids which can donate more than one proton are called as polyprotic acids or polybasic acid. Let us consider a dibasic acid H2X. It is the general representation of a dibasic acid H2X. That means it have two ionizable proton as it is represented here H2X. Now it can donate two proton and uh, that is in the two steps. So the ionization reactions for the example for a dibasic acid H2X are represented by the equation that is the first in which uh, there is a ionization of a single H positive and HX negative. That means uh, H2X, how we can ionize this one? It will first ionize this into 1H positive ion and HX negative. Now in the second step, uh, because here there is one more H is, uh, that is one more ionizable proton is available. So that can be ionized in the second step. Uh, so in the second step, uh, the second H positive ion is also ionized to form H plus X2 negative. Now this is the ionization reactions for the dibasic acid H2X which is represented here. And this is an equilibrium reaction. So we can write the equilibrium constant for both the reaction in this way. So the first one the Ka, Ka1 is a H plus concentration of H plus into concentration of hx negative divided by concentration of a h2x that is the concentration of product divided by 
reactant and the concentration of uh, in the second equation concentration of h plus into concentration of x2 negative divided by the concentration of x negative that is reactant by product that is represented in the second so here there are two ionizable proton in the formula h2x that means two h plus is ionized in the two step as it is shown here so there are two ionization constant value here that is the equilibrium ionization constant for the acid here it is represented as for the first step it is represented as ka1 for the second step it is represented as ka2 as we have already learned the ka value is higher higher will be the acidic character but in the case of a dibasic acid the two values k1 and ka2 are there it is observed that here ka1 and ka2 are called as the first and the second ionization constant respectively of the acid h2x so here what is ka1 and ka2 these are the first and second ionization constant for the acid h2x similarly for if there is an example of tribasic acid h3 PO4 because 3 H positive it can donate that means it can ionize into 3 H positive so in that case there will be 3 ionization constant so in this example for dibasic acid only 2 ionization constant are there K1 and K2 but if we have a tribasic acid like H3 PO4 in that case we have Ka1 we have Ka2 and we also have Ka3 because in that uh, three equations will be there here for dibasic only two equations are there therefore two ionization constant are there but it can be seen that the higher order ionization constant are smaller than the lower order ionization constant of a polyprotic acid that means uh, if there is a triprotic acid uh, that means it have a 3 H positive it ionizes in that case 3 ionization constant are there that is Ka1, Ka2 and Ka3. So it is seen that the higher order ionization constant that is Ka3 is higher order than Ka2, Ka2 is higher order than Ka1. So the higher order ionization constant is lower than the lower order ionization constant that means uh, when we compare the value of Ka3 and Ka2 for a uh, acid in that case Ka2 will be greater and in compared to Ka1 and Ka2 Ka1 will be greater so why it happens so because uh, the reason for this is uh, given that uh, it is uh, more difficult to remove a positively charged proton from a negative ion due to electrostatic forces it is one of the most important question usually the question arises in the in the exam you'll be getting a question like why ka1 is greater than ka2 for a dibasic acid the reason is that because it is more difficult to remove a proton from a negative ion due to electrostatic forces that is can be explained here for example in the case of a sulfuric acid that have a two ionizable proton because h2so4 two ionizable proton are there in the first step when it remove one h positive so here this positive positively charged ion is removed from a neutral because this is a neutral molecule but in the second step when there is a removal of second ion that is removed from the HSO4 negative from this the second proton get removed so here the proton is removed from a negatively charged species that means it is more difficult to remove the proton that is positively charged from a neutral uh, sorry from a negatively charged species because there is electrostatic force of attraction between the negative charge of this one with the positive charge of this one 
but in the case of neutral it will be quite easier so it is easier to remove h positive from a neutral species than the negatively charged species so because of this reason it is quite difficult to remove h positive from the negative species than the neutral because of this we can say that ka1 is greater than ka2 which is greater than ka3 so this is all about this video have a nice day